and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the featured bell of the evening. From the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! It is Friday afternoon in the Valley of the Sun, but the sun is setting on the buildup for one of the most anticipated trilogy fights in recent memory. We are now one day away from Estrada versus Chocolatito 3, coming up tomorrow night on DAZN. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Justin Shackle. Welcome you to Matchroom Boxing's weigh-in for Estrada Chocolatito 3 here at the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. This will be the venue where tomorrow night the lineal super flyweight champion Juan Francisco Estrada gets back in the ring with the four-division champion Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez for a third time. The first fight in 2012 went to Chocolatito. The second fight in March of last year went to Estrada. Both fights were filled with incredible work rate by each boxer. And if you watched our press conference here at the arena yesterday, both fighters stated that they believe tomorrow's trilogy will be the best one yet in terms of being filled with excitement. It has lived up to be one of the most anticipated and exciting fights that we have seen scheduled in 2022. And when you take a look at the trajectory of both fighters' careers, this is the perfect clash at this point in time as the vacant WBC Super Flyweight title will be on the line, as well as the Ring Magazine title. On paper, it has the potential to be a fight of the year contender, but the big question will get answered when these two step into the ring tomorrow night. That is, how will this stack up with some of the great trilogies we have seen in this sports history? We mentioned the second fight in March of last year. Won by Estrada in a split decision. Each fighter has had one match since that last meeting. Chuck Latito dispatched the reigning flyweight champion, Julio Cesar Martinez, back on March the 5th in San Diego. And for Juan Francisco Estrada, he earned a unanimous decision win over Arhi Cortez in Mexico. All the fighters are ready. It is time to weigh in on the Estrada Chuck Latito undercard. And then Estrada and Chocolatito. For that, let's get started. Head to the scales. Here's David Diamante. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to see everybody here today at the Desert Diamond Arena. We're in Glendale, Arizona for the official way in for our huge night of fights taking place here on Saturday night. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. Of course, the action will go out live around the world exclusively on the zone. And we are sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. AutoZone, Bet Online, and Stage Front. Man, what a card we have on Saturday night. Eight fights. We have three title fights, two world titles. And at the top of the bill, two legendary pound for pound fighters go at it for a third and possible final time. Ladies and gentlemen, Chocolatito versus Estrada 3 here at the Desert Diamond Arena. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the weigh-in started. We're going to go ahead and bring the fighters up to the stage at this time so they can face the scale and face each other. Our first contest, six rounds in the super featherweight division. Making her way to the stage at this time, her professional record, seven wins, two defeats. She has four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Lakeland, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carice Taz Brown, the Golden Child. Brown. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. Her professional record thus far perfect. One fight, one victory. She is the 2020 Olympic silver medalist and amateur world champion fighting out of Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Beatriz, the Beast Ferreira. Ferreira. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carice Taz Brown, the Golden Child.
129.3 for Carice Taz Brown, the Golden Child. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Beatrice, the Beast Ferreira. One twenty-nine point five, one twenty-nine and one half pounds for Beatrice, the Beast Ferreira. Versus Brown, six rounds, super featherweights. Matchroom boxing live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Papia Ferreira getting ready for her second pro fight in three weeks. She made her pro debut roughly three weeks ago back on the Love Spark card in Cleveland, picked up a win there. That was four three-minute rounds for the 2016 silver medalist uh, for the Olympic Games in Bia Ferreira. She takes on Carice Brown, going for her biggest win to date, 7-2 record. She has showed some power in her punches. She has four knockouts in her seven pro wins. Ferreira, we mentioned the three-minute rounds in her pro debut. She steps up to six rounds in her second match, the regularly scheduled two-minute rounds. Let's go back to David Diamante for our second match. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, six rounds in the super flyweight division, making his way to the stage at this time. Perfect professional record, eight fights, eight victories, five of them coming by way of knockout. He fights at a Casa Grande, Arizona. Please welcome Christian Sullivan. Sullivan. And his opponent making his way to the stage at this time. He is also undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of three fights, no, def no defeats, three wins, no defeats, one draw with two wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of East Los Angeles, California, please welcome Anthony Superman Herrera. Herrera. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Christian Sullivan. One nineteen point seven. One nineteen point seven for Christian Sullivan. And his opponent now making his way to the scale, Superman Anthony Herrera. One nineteen point six for Anthony Superman Herrera. Sullivan, two undefeated, matchroom boxing live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Anthony Herrera looking to improve his record to 4-0-1 in his first calendar year as a pro. Christian Sullivan, meanwhile, standing in at 8-0 with five knockouts. You saw the first two weigh-ins, and for the rest of this weigh-in, the fighters bringing toys to the stage, dropping them in the toy drop. They all benefits toys for tots here in the greater Phoenix area, so a very nice gesture as we get going with this weigh-in ahead of Estrada Chocolatito 3. Herrera 
fighting his third straight six round match coming off a technical decision win back on the Canelo Triple G3 card in September. Let's go back to David for our next match. Thank you, Justin. The weigh-in continues our next contest, eight rounds in the lightweight division. At this time, making his way to the stage, his professional record, 16 wins, three defeats. He's got eight wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Ensenada, Baja California, please welcome Michael El Coyote Lopez. Lopez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories, six of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Fresno, California. Here is the 17-time amateur national champion, the two-time amateur world champion. Please welcome Mark Castro. Castro. Now to the scale, El Coyote. Please welcome Michael Lopez. One thirty two even, one hundred and thirty two pounds even for Michael Lopez. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Mark Castro. One thirty three point six for Mark Castro, one thirty three point six. Castro v. Lopez, eight rounds, lightweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Well, gold fighters weighing in easily under the lightweight limit there. Michael Lopez, 16 and three with eight knockouts from Mexicali, Baja, California, Mexico. And this will be his third fight in the U.S. And for Mark Castro, 8-0 record, six knockouts to his name. This is his second eight-round fight. Of course, coming off a very impressive stoppage win on the Canelo Triple G3 undercard in Las Vegas over Kevin Montiel. It was a fifth-round knockout. One uppercut sealed the deal, stopped the match. Castro said earlier this week that was his most impressive knockout win to date. He's looking to cap off his 2022 fight schedule with a perfect 4-0 mark fought three times earlier here this year. Let's get to our fourth match coming up on Before the Bell tomorrow night and go back to the stage with David. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, another battle of undefeateds, 10 rounds in the middleweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, as I said, a perfect one. 13 fights, 13 victories, 10 of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Cancun, Quintana Roo, Mexico. Damas y Caballero, Simon Vikingo Madsen. Madsen. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. Also a perfect record, 12 fights, 12 victories, nine of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of H-Town, Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the reigning and the undefeated WBA international middleweight champion, Austin Amo Williams. Williams. Out of the scale, Simone Madsen, Vikingo. One sixty point six for Simone Madsen, one sixty point six. And out of the scale, the undefeated Texan, Austin Ammo Williams.
162.1 for Austin Ammo Williams. 162 pounds, point one for Austin Ammo Williams. Williams versus Madsen. Nixon Hill fight, 10 rounds, middleweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Emma Williams coming in at 12 and 0. The 26 year old Houston native is fighting in his third straight fight scheduled for 10 rounds but he has fought past six rounds just twice in his pro career ironically one of them was in his last fight that was back in september also on that canelo triple g undercard a 10 round unanimous decision win over kieran conway Emma williams currently ranked fifth by the wba taking on another undefeated opponent simone Matson, who you see there on your screen 13 and 0 10 knockouts and he is returning from a 14-month layoff. Again, this one's scheduled for 10 rounds. Middleweight division as Austin Williams looks to improve his record to 13-0. And also cap off a year, which has seen him now fight four times, or will have seen him fight four times. He's so far 3-0 in this calendar year. Also fought back in late April in Madison Square Garden on the Taylor Serrano undercard. A first round knockout there over Cordell Booker. He is ready to go for his fourth fight of 2022. Let's move on to the main card. Starting up at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern on DAZN. Go back to the stage with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is a doozy as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with Class A and Talento are proud to present 10 rounds of boxing in the flyweight division. And now making his way to the stage, please welcome professional record 34 wins, six defeats, 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de la capital, Managua, Nicaragua. Here is the former WBC flyweight champion of the world, Christopher Elatigo Rosales. Rosales. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of 15 wins, no defeats, one draw with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the two-time Pan America Games gold medalist and the 2016 Olympian peleando fuera Cancun, Quintana Roo, Mexico, damas y caballeros, Joselito, el huracán Velasquez. Velasquez. Now to the scale, El Latigo, Christopher Rosales. One twelve point six for Christopher Rosales. One hundred and twelve point six pounds for El Latigo. And now to the scale, El Huracan, Joselito Velasquez. One twelve point three for Joselito Velasquez, one hundred and twelve point three pounds for El Huracan.
Velasquez, Rosales, Nicaragua v. Mexico, 10 rounds, flyweights, matchroom boxing in association with Class A E Talento, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. This is the Mexico Nicaragua appetizer for tomorrow night, the first bout. On the main card, airing on the zone again, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, Rosales and Velasquez. Rosales, nearly a decade of experience, obviously a former title holder as well, but ironically younger than Joselito Velasquez, who is making his sixth pro appearance in the United States. Let's move on with the weigh-in and our second match on the main card and go back to David Diamante. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, tw 10 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC USNBC Silver Super Middleweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. His professional record, 24 victories, eight defeats, two draws, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Nezahuayacoto, Mexico. Please welcome Adrian Tyson Luna. Luna. And the defending title is now making his way to the stage. His professional record of perfect 116 fights, 16 victories, 13 of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of South Central Los Angeles, California, here is the hard hitting, reigning, defending, and undefeated WBC USNBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion, Diego Pacheco. Pacheco. And out of the scale, the challenger, Adrian Luna. One sixty-eight, bang on the super middleweight limit for Adrian Luna, one hundred and sixty-eight pounds. And out of the scale, the undefeated defending champion, Diego Pacheco. One sixty-seven point four for Diego Pacheco. One hundred and sixty-seven point four pounds. Pacheco versus Luna, 10 rounds for the WBC USNBC Silver Super Middleweight Championship. Matchroom Boxing live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Fight against Diego Pacheco and what a year of growth it has been for the 21 year old making his first pro title title defense again the WBC USNBC super middleweight title on the line Pacheco won that belt in his last fight in September in Vegas we all know it's one thing to win a title it's another to defend to make that first title defense that's what stands in the way of Diego Pacheco here on Saturday night it is time to weigh in with our co-feature tomorrow night back to David we go Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the weigh-in continues. Before we do our next contest, I just want to say we're bringing a legend up to the stage right now because for the co-main event and for the main event, he's going to present the world title belt. Please welcome Hall of Famer from Phoenix, Arizona, the one and only Manitas de la Piedra, Michael Carbajal, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Carbajal, Phoenix legend. And he kicked open the doors of these weight classes. Great to see you, Michael, as always. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the co-main event of the evening is Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with Class A E Talento. are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Flyweight Championship of the World. 
And now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. His professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories, four of them coming by way of knockout. He is the 2016 Olympian and the two-time amateur Spanish national champion and the reigning and undefeated WBA international flyweight champion presentando de las Palmas Isla Canarias, España. Samuel Carmona. Carmona. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is the defending world champion. Professional record, 18 victories, two defeats, two no contests, with 14 of his 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando al hijo del Tepito Barrio de Ciudad de México, Distrito Federal. Here is the reigning and the defending WBC flyweight champion of the world, con todo menos con miedo, Julio Cesar El Rey Martinez. Martinez. Now to the scale, the challenger, Samuel Carmona. One eleven point four for the challenger Samuel Carmona, one hundred eleven point four pounds. And now to the scale, the defending world champion Julio Cesar El Rey Martinez. One eleven, bang on for the reigning and defending world champion Julio Cesar El Rey Martinez. Michael Carvajal with the belt, ladies and gentlemen. Martinez versus Carmona, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Flyweight Championship of the World. Matchroom Boxing in association with Class A Italento live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Co-main event Saturday night. Samuel Carmona with what he calls an opportunity of a lifetime tomorrow night on to zone his first pro title opportunity 8 and 0 four knockouts for the 2016 Spanish Olympian going up against the reigning champ the WBC flyweight champion Julio Cesar Martinez 18 and 2 record 14 knockouts he's going to try and make it five successful title defenses with that WBC flyweight strap so Michael Carbajal there holding the belt as those two completed their stare down all right it is time to weigh in for the main event Estrada Chocolatito back to the stage we go with David well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome everybody here to the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona, for the official weigh-in for our big night of fights taking place here on Saturday night. And at this time, it's time to weigh in the main event of the evening. It is the trilogy. Estrada Chocolatito 3, as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, in association with Tekken Sports and Latin Sports, are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC and the Ring Magazine Super Flyweight Championship of the World. Now making his way to the stage, please welcome his professional record, 51 victories, three defeats, 41 of his 51 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former four division world champion, once widely regarded as the best pound for pound boxer on the planet. 
He was the former minimum weight world champion, the former light flyweight world champion, the former flyweight world champion, and the former super flyweight champion of the world, presentando el orgullo de barrio, la esperanza de la capital, Managua, Nicaragua, la leyenda, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record 43 victories, three defeats. He has 28 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former two division world champion presenting the former flyweight world champion and the former super flyweight champion of the world, El Idolo Sonorense, representando Puerto Peñasco, Sonora, Mexico, El Gallo, Juan Francisco Estrada. Out of the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Chocolatito Roman Gonzalez. One fourteen point seven for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. One hundred and fourteen point seven pounds for Chocolatito. Out of the scale, El Idolo Sonorense, El Gallo, Juan Francisco Estrada. 115 pounds, the super flyweight limit, bang on, 115 pounds for Juan Francisco Estrada. Chocolatito Gonzalez, 12 rounds for the WBC and Ring Magazine Super Flyweight Championship of the World. Matchroom Boxing, Tekken Promotions, Latin Sport, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Both fighters looking terrific. Both in great condition. Estrada winning in at 115 flat. Both with their respective countries' flags draped over their backs and covering their wrists as well as they made a fist bump to end that face-off. Estrada, Chocolatito coming up tomorrow night on the zone here at Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. It's been start and stop for a couple of years since that second meeting. COVID getting in the way. Nothing getting in the way here tomorrow night as Chocolatito enters at 51 and 3. Estrada at 43 and three this one for the vacant wbc super flyweight and ring magazine titles the main event which on the main card you see it there are three lighter weight matches on our main card we talked to eddie hearn yesterday he said about a decade ago you can envision putting on a main card like that that just shows you how far these lighter divisions have come 
and paving the way have been these two men as they have slugged it out over the course of a decade now in the super flyweight division. Will it stack up with some of the greater trilogies we have seen over time? Will it enter the, the inner circle of great trilogies? Trilogies like Ali Frazier, maybe Herrera Morales, Ward Gotti. Will we be able to include Estrada Chuck Latito in that conversation as well? We are a little over 24 hours away from finding out. Again, the main card beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on DAZN. Tune into Before the Bell and catch some terrific preliminary action with us beginning at 5 Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific here from Glendale, Arizona. For our entire Matchroom crew here in the desert, this is Justin Shackles saying so long. We'll talk to you tomorrow night on Before the Bell. Juan Francisco Estrada has been fighting in the shadow of Chocolatito since that loss in 2012. Big for Chocolatito. He has been a phenomenon. They want more, and Chocolatito can always give more. This is talking about the spot right here. And Estrada, get revenge. The slimy faster hand of Estrada. Nice way for Magallo. The crowd is...